So Parkside Construction is a case that I handled when I was the chief of the Construction Fraud Task Force. And at the center of the case was a project known as 111 West 57th Street, which is in the heart of what's known as Billionaire's Row. It's also the place that I chose to launch my campaign because that building and that company were a symbol of exactly what's wrong with the criminal justice system. That those powerful individuals felt comfortable had not a single worry that they were gonna be held accountable, despite the fact that they routinely engaged in millions of dollars in fraud, not just against its own workforce, but every single one of us as taxpayers. So recently, that very same project became at the forefront of our news again. What happened on a, on a rainy night, suddenly debris started raining from the sky. It's literally every New Yorker's worst nightmare to be walking down the street and be hit with something. It actually goes to show something that I've always said, which is when, when companies cheat, when they cut corners on, on wages and taxes, they cut corners on safety. And the same goes. In many cases that I investigated, I saw that fraud and safety violations went hand in hand. And the only way to stop that practice, to make sure that companies stop keeping fraud as part of their business model, is to make sure that enforcement is not a part-time affair, but it is a routine part of any DA's office, and particularly the Manhattan DA's office. That's why I proposed a first-of-its-kind labor bureau, which will make sure that we have a consistent an unwavering approach to fraud and health and safety violations, not just in the construction industry, but in all industries, because everyone deserves to be safe at work.